How's it going guys? Derek Hallett, unrealliving.com. How to get two boxes of bananas on the back of your bicycle. Um, to transport fruit to and from the market. How do we do that? So just very simply, uh, just kind of stack. You just want to stack the two boxes on the back, on the rack, just like that. You know, you can use you can use a bike trailer, but if you, uh, if you don't want to buy one, if you don't have one, and you already have a rack on your bike, you might as well just use the rack that you already have. So just... Um, you can see I've, I've got two boxes on the back. If this is your first time uh, putting uh, boxes of bananas on the back of your bike, maybe start with one the first time. But what I like to do when I have two boxes on the back, so I have some bungee cords obviously to secure the boxes down to the rack so they're not obviously falling off while you're riding, is to stick the bungee cord uh, through the holes in the side of the box here. And then you can kind of... Um, you want to kind of nestle that bungee cord kind of deep down into the box there because if you have it like sitting on top of the bananas obviously it's going to start to bruise the bananas and you definitely you definitely don't want any bruised bananas so just very simply just like that um, if it's going to be your first time and you're at the markets kind of trying to get the box of bananas on the back of the bike it's going to be a bit of a balancing act at first um, any do i have any really good tips for that i mean just try it out figure it out you might maybe they'll fall but I've never had any boxes fall on me doing it like this method and actually having boxes secured like this on the back of my bike I've ridden up to 15 kilometers in Adelaide and that included going up a 150 meter um, uh, hill as well at the end of, at the end of the ride so it's definitely a secure way of doing it um, if you have panniers and uh, what you want to do if you have panniers as well to carry other uh, bits of food home with you is to um, is to put the panniers on first uh, before you put the boxes of bananas on. So that's another little tip when you're at the markets. Get those panniers on first and then stack the box of bananas on top. Something else to keep in mind is obviously there's going to be screws that hold the rack down. Just make sure that they're nice and snug, nice and tight. And this is how we do it. Just very, just very simple. Just very simple way of um, just transporting fruit to and from your place. Um, this can save you money because you know you might be taking the bus, you might be asking people for a ride. So you can be a little bit more independent, save yourself a few dollars. Something else to keep in mind is since there's going to be so much more extra weight on the bike here, um, is to make sure that your rear tire is pumped up to the correct PSI, all the way up to the max PSI. You really want it pumped up that as high as it can basically go because you do not want um, to be riding on the rim uh, when you're carrying um, any fruit or when you're riding your bike. You don't want to be riding on the rim because that basically uh, really kind of mucks up the rim a little bit. So you can see I'm just riding just a standard hybrid bike. Nothing special here about it and uh, just a really really simple way of uh, transporting some fruit to and from uh, to and from the markets. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments uh, regarding uh, this method of uh, transporting fruit, uh, definitely leave them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.